and then after calculating all the reactions whereby we got a, a reaction B as 161 3.125 and reaction A as 164.6.875 we need to draw our shear force diagram it's much better to draw the shear force diagram underneath these uh, diagrams but since i've already written something here i'll just throw it right here so we are going to have uh, let me write uh, rb equals to 161.3.125 R A equals to one six four six point eight seven five. There's a neutrons so that I can work much better on this page. Uh, there we go. Then from there to draw the shear force diagram start with the x axis which is the distance, y axis which is the force. So there's going to be force in neutrons. There's going to be distance. So from there, we're going to have our two meters here, five meters around there, eight meters here, 13 here, and 16 here. So it's going to be zero two five eight thirteen and sixteen okay and then since uh at the at zero only have reaction e which is one thousand six hundred and forty six point eight seven five we're going to mark it over here and then we have like a uh, a distributed load throughout the beam which is the way so our beam uh, our shear force is not going to be horizontal it's going to slant due to that uh, distributed load which is from the the weight so what's going to happen is that at each and every point where there's a point load uh, that's where we're gonna stop slanting subtract that point load continue strength slanting subtract point load continue slanting up until the end so what's going to happen is that uh, here we've got this uh, one four one six four six point eight seven five so it's going to slant up until uh, two meters where there's a point load of 70 we subtract that 70 then it continues slanting at the same uh, what do you call gradient as this one then at five meters where there's a point load of 100 meters subtract that 100 and 100 newtons i meant to say then from there up until 10 it slants with the same gradient then here at 10 since there's also another distributed load from 10 to 16 it's going to slant again but this time around uh, it's going to slant uh, at a different gradient which will be a bit like this up until the last point and from there it comes back to balance out so let's do that so it's going to be from zero to two meters subtract 70 go down slant at the same gradient this should be parallel to this so subtract the same gradient point load of 100 at 5 meters subtract 100 slant at the C gradient up until 10 meters 10 meters there's also another distributed load again so it slants at a, another sort of steeper gradient goes up until 16 and it comes back then you are done so our point is this point it's going to be one six four six point eight seven five then here we can't really be sure what the point is exactly 
throughout uh, this distributed load but it's going to be like this and then we're also 